What's good, y'all? You already know who it is. I'm back at it again. I know y'all ain't seen me in a minute. I'm back, though. I've been hella busy. I just recently signed under management to Young Lan. Um, if y'all don't know who that is, he's multi-platinum. Booty by Black Youngsta, 6 9 little baby. You know, all this shit. But today, I'm going to be showing y'all how to make loops with one-shots and how to make them sound as good, if not better, than VSTs. Uh, for people who can't afford VSTs. If you guys haven't yet, make sure to follow me on Instagram at AlecBit. Uh, and I just dropped a new kit, the Casablanca Sample Library. 25 unique handcrafted melodies in Spanish style, brass, like wheezy style. Link is gonna be in the description. Y'all make sure to go get that. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So the melody sounds like this. So this melody is pretty like unique. Um, it's hella cool. This is uh, like Don Tov or Travis Scott type shit. Um, that's like my favorite thing to make with one shots. Cause like there's a lot of cool analog one shots and like this is a very analog type of. So yeah, let's just get into it. So I first started off with this bell from the Greg Securas and Base One one shot kit, Immortal. Sounds like this. It's a really weird idea that I had, so I just laid it down in the pattern. Um, it's hella fire, hella simple. Uh, for effects, for effects I added an EQ, just took out some unwanted frequencies. An effect track, I added ambient dotted uh, delay, ambient dotted eighth delay, and an RC20, uh, just a vinyl one to make it a bit more vintage. But that effect sounds like this. So, I mean, you can see, like, it kind of makes it more wider. Uh, just a bit more analog sounding. I then added this mallet from, I believe it was also Base One and, uh, Base One and Greg Secure's one-shot kit. And it sounds like this. It just does the same thing over here as well. Uh, it was just a little, like, transition to transition transition into the next uh chords it was weird but like i'm telling you like this melody i started really weird but yeah uh for effects i added i added a fruity reverb a parametric eq and a wow control this is one of my favorite vintage plugins right now i put it on uh, i just put it on the default and i turned up the amount which makes it gives it more detune i then added this pluck from greg secures and bass one one shot kit and this is like the the catchy part of the melody it's like a weird ass pluck it sounds like this It just repeats that. Um, yeah, I just wanted something that, that could uh, follow the main melody but couldn't clash. And over here, what I do is I add slided notes. And the way you do that, you put a you know a large note over here, and then you just put a slide under. And the way you do that is you put you just for example get this double cut tap, press this little thing, and and it slides. And I just thought I gave it a cool effect, so that's what I did. Uh, for effects, I added an effect rack, the basic vintage punch, favorite preset and effect rack. EQ'd some stuff. Uh, and of a hall vintage verb just kept it on the default stuff and turned on the dk in the mix i then added the synth uh also from the base one in pilgrims or uh, i then added the synth Honestly, it's really random, like really weird. Uh, it's pretty much in the background, but it gives a little bounce, I guess. Uh, for effects, I added a Panomatic, Fruity Panomatic, which is just a panner. It's just like Pan Man, but it's stock. An EQ and a Fruity Reverb to make it ambient. Without effects, sounds like this. So big difference, as you can see. I then added this key. I just had to lay down some chords to make the melody pretty basic, like to have, you know, a bass. Uh, from the melody, sounds like that. And what it was just the chord progression, I just started with the bass, and usually this progression, it goes a half step up. These are what the, the things you want to do for these um, Travis Scott melodies, like, so you just pull this up, one up, and then you put this up one more, so it can be a major chord, so minor major. So, 
pretty simple um and then in the second part you can see i added the top notes just to give a bit, a bit of variation for effects for effects I, I added one eq to take out all the unwanted frequencies another eq to take out lows and highs and rc20 the vinyl 2 preset and effect tricks and this is i use a phaser and it's on a low and that's like on, on a lower mix just so it doesn't overdo and then a hall vintage verb to give it some ambience that effect sounds like this You can see with the effect, it sounds more like spacey and more like ambient, which I thought was a cool effect. I then added this bass from Nico Baron's One Shot Kit, uh, the exotic, it was the exotic volume three. Sounds like this. Basically, I just followed the main bass notes of the main chords first, and then over here I added this little slide. Again, I showed you how to do it. Pretty simple, but it was like a cool effect. Uh, for effect for the bass, all I added was a little reverb and a parametric EQ uh, just to find the right frequencies. But really, for basses, you don't need that many effects. I then added this accent, also from Nico Baron's One Shot Kit. And it sounds really weird, but honestly, I think this is what made the melody, like, the melody. Like, this is one of the catchier parts, too. For effects, all I added was a Valhalla Vintage Verb and an EQ. Without effects, it sounds like this. So you can see a lot more airy and ambient. I then added this other accent, also from Nico Baron's One Shot Kit. Uh, sounds like this. a weird weird effect but i don't know i thought it sounded cool um for that i added a mid-side matrix and honestly i don't even know what this does that much it's just like it just makes the melt i don't know I, don't, I can't explain it but it's just i don't know it's cool hell cool uh and then a fruity reverb uh i then added this piano from contact and yes i know i know i know i use contact but realistically for the piano i literally just wanted a layer for the chords and to be honest you could find a one shot kit or even use like Keyzone Classic or something because I wanted a cool stutter effect uh, in the back for the chords. I used the Noir, the Noir uh, Pure Piano and it was the Dense Preset. It sounds like this. Just repeats that. Um, Literally for effects, I added an EQ. Took out a lot of highs, a bit of lows. I then added a reverb. Pretty cool. Um, an RC20, a vinyl wall preset. A gross beat, which gave it that stutter effect. Just the one beat gate. And then a pan so it can go from one ear to the other. <laughs> God damn. And my CPU was dying, so I then just exported all the uh, sounds out. And then I arranged it. And the arrangement is literally just... The way I usually arrange my melodies is... Oh, first of all, I lastly added this bird texture. Sounds like this. It was also from a one-shot kit. It was from Carson Beats one-shot kit. His one-shot kits are actually free on YouTube. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I got this bird's texture. And just to give it a bit of more like ambience and stuff. For the arrangement, I arranged it. The main melody, the whole melody, with and without the bass. So yeah, I just arranged like two parts just to give it a bit of variation. Then I added stems. So the person who gets the melody can actually do whatever the fuck they want with it. That's what I started doing just because people complained that I don't put stems. So I started putting stems. But yeah, I then exported it out. I pitched it down one semitone. And I added an EQ, a Valhalla Vintage Verb, the type play preset, and a wow control to give it a bit more vintage on the good cassette preset. It ended up sounding like this. So yeah, uh, that's basically it. Um, that's how to make melodies with one shots for Don Tolver and Travis Scott. I hope y'all enjoyed. I hope 
I taught y'all something. If y'all want a good one shot kit, make sure to go down in the description and get TB's digital TB's digital one shot kit. Uh, link is in the description. Um, make sure to follow me on Instagram at AlecBit. Thank you guys so much for to get for getting us to 50k. It means a lot. Uh, 100k by the end of the year. That's the that's the goal. Make sure also to get my kit down below in the description. 25 royalty free melodies. Uh, royalty free. That means if you get a place with Drake, guess what? All your money, not mine. So y'all make sure to go get that. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna catch y'all later. Peace.